Mm. Hi, Ernie. Hi. Um, so we're on Shabbos, Kuflam at Bays. Have a high no time in Rabbi Yezer. So why, where does Rabbi Yezer learn out that you're, the, uh, the various preparatory stages for me, Lardoch Shabbos, the Amra Kra, Uvayom Ashmini, Yimob Sarlosa, Filo Bishabbos. It means even Shabbos, Vayom Ashmini, Vayom. Frank the Gemara, Velichta Rahmana, the Mila. Let the Torah write this principle of that the Machshire of a mitzvah are Docha Shabbos, the Lesu Hanach, the Ligbar Minei. And we could learn it to all the other cases that we learned yesterday. Sukkah, Lula, Matzah, right? So what says Mishun Dikla Mifrach? You wouldn't have been able to do that logically. Because Mala Mila Shekin Nichrusu Aleh Shlosha Sri Brisos. It says Bris 13 times in uh, the Parsha of Mila that when it talks about Avram Avinu. So because there's 13 Brisos carried out with Mila, that's why it's Docha Shabbos. And machshira, you can't, you wouldn't be able to learn it out logically through a mamatzinu, through through a, a tzara shava, you know, through a, a, a learning out one halacha to another because of this logical break. Fine. Ad kan lopli grabar aleilav machshira mila. Fine. There's a machlokas between Rabbi Ezra and the Chachamim whether the preparatory stages to mila are docha shabbos. Rabbi Ezra says they are, the Chachamim say they're not. Aval Mila Gufa Divra called Docha Shabbos. Everybody hold, there's no Mach Lokas, even the Chachamim hold, that the act of cutting off the, the Mila is Docha Shabbos, even though it's a Malach of Shabbos. So the Shaila is Minolan. Where did the Rabbanon learn that? Amr Ula Halacha. It means it's Halach Lemosh Sinai. Now, the Gemara has a question on that. Meisve. Minayin lebikuach nefesh adoches hashabbos. So, if someone, if someone's life is threatened, so anything is doches hashabbos. Pikuach nefesh is doches hashabbos. How do we know that? We learn it as a kavachoymer. The genitalia is only one of the limbs of the body. Yet, the mitzvah of mila for that genitalia, doichas a shabbos. Kavachoymer, the bikuach nefesh, the whole body should doichas a shabbos. Now, the problem is the following. But if you tell me that the din that Mila is doich Shabbos is a halacha, kavachoymer me halacha miyasi. One of the rules of of Hatorsha and Idreshus by him is you cannot learn a kavachoymer if the base if the index halacha is learned from halacha l'moshu misinai. Vatanya, Omelor Rabbi Lezer ben Azariah, Akiva, Etzem kisoyer metame. Is a halach Moshe Misinai. That is a nazir takes naziris. He doesn't he doesn't take a haircut. He doesn't drink wine for thirty days. Now, if he's exposed to tuma, so the naziris is broken. He has to shave his head and 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 he has to go through a tahara process and then he starts again. Now, what kind of things are mitame here? Add some kisoira, a bone the size of a barley bean, the fact that it's metame and nazar halacha. And a revias dam, the fact that revias dam is metame the ohel, not just the whole corpse, but even a revias dam. Kavach, now, revias dam kavach hoimer. And the fact that revias dam is, is learned out from a kava choymer from from etzim kisa However, so Rabbi Lezer ben Azariah said, Akiva, you can't learn the way you're learning because ain't done in kava choymer malocha. 
you can't learn Revias Dam because the index case of Etzim Kazoira is Halach Lamash Sinai. So here as well, by Mila, you can't learn this, uh, this uh, the din of Pikuach Nefesh is Doch Shabbos from a Kavachomer from Mila if the if Mila itself is learned from Halach Lamash Sinai. So, so we do though want to keep alive the concept of the kavachaymer to pikuach nevesh from mila, but we but we want to learn mila not from a not from aloch l'mashmi sinai. So el amra belazer asya ois ois. We it says shabbos ki os he, and the mila it says vayelos breeze. So my, my over there, also refers to Shabbos, by Mila can be done on Shabbos as well. And it's not a halacha. It's like a gzer shava, os, os. Ela me'ato, tefillin, dechsiv behen os. Tefillin also says os. Right? So may, from there we would learn that you could manufacture tefillin on Shabbos. We're not talking about wearing tefillin on Shabbos. Wearing tefillin on Shabbos is not a malach of Shabbos, says the Rishonim. It's not a problem to put on tefillin. It's not zman tefillin, but it's, it's a malbush. So even if you went outside with tefillin, it's not a problem. But what the Gemara is referring to is manufacturing tefillin. That so Tfilin Tikhsi Ben Os Lid Khishabis, the manufacturer should be Doy Khishabis the same way you're learning Ois Ois to Mila. Ella Osya Bris Bris. We don't learn it from Os. We learn it from it says bris. It says bris the Dorosam Brisolam by Shabbos. So we learn it out bris bris. So Freight the Gmor Godal Dirsiv Bay Brisli Trishabis. It says Vaarel Zachar Asher Loyi Mol Esbri Si Hefar. Now we're talking about now an adult who is an RL. So there it says Bris. And he's an adult. And it says, and, and since you're saying Shabbos, it says Bris. And here it says by RL Bris. Maybe the Mila of an adult male should also live Chishabbos, not just an eight day old, you know, Bayom Hashmini should be doing Chishabbos. Okay, so the Gemara rejects bris. Asya doiris doiris. It says doiris by Shabbos, the dorosam bris olam. And by Mila, it says, ben shmonas yamim yimolachem kol zachar le dorosechem. So it says Doris by Mila, Doris by Shabbos. So Mila must be Doich Shabbos. Mor says Tzitzi is Laman Yedu Dorosechem, right? Tzitzi to see Vei Doris Lidchi Shabbos. We're talking about the manufacturer, the manufacturer of Tzitzi should be Doich Shabbos. So we reject Doris as well. Amr of Nachum by Yitzchak, Donin Ois Bris Vidoirois. May ois bris vidoiris. That means only by Mila and by Shabbos does it say os bris and doiris. La fukehanech, all the other ones like tefillin and, uh, and the bris of an adult and tzitzis only have one of those. Either os or bris or doiris, not all three. So the Gemara's first answer as to how do we know that the Mila is Docha Shabbos? We know it from the fact that it says Ois Bris in Doirois by Mila and by Shabbos. That's that's how the Gemara ends up here. So Rabbi Yochanan Omar. Rabbi Yechlin has a different mahalach. 
Omar Krab Bayoy Mashmini Yemo Bsar Laso, in Bayom Afilo Bishabas. It doesn't say Bishmini Yemo. It says Bayom Mashmini. The Yom is to tell me, and that's that's the Chachonim learn that. Now, Rabbi Yezer, who learns Bayom Hashmini to teach me that even the preparatory steps of Mila, he would say the Mila Atzma is a halacha, says Rashi. Halacha Moshe Misinai. And Bikoch Tafesh is not, is not learned from there. It's from its own Pasuk, where we're in, in the end of Perak Yuma, we'll have a different uh, source that how, why Pikuach Tafesh is Doich Shabbos. Because you can't learn it from a Kavachoyer because he'll hold that the meal itself is learned Halach Lomosh Misina. Amr Leirish Lokish Rav Yechnon El Meato Mechusri Chapora. So any tuma that emerges from your body. So many tumas, it's because something external touched you. A corpse touched you. Tumas Nevela touched you. Sheret. Sheret also, huh? A sheret touched you, absolutely. However, there are tumas that emerge from your body. A zav and a zava, a metzora and a nida. So those four, it's not just enough that you go to the mikvah and you have Erev Shemesh. In all four of those cases, on the eighth day, they have to bring korbonos. That means when they go to the mikvah on the seventh day and they have Erev Shemesh, the sun goes down, they're allowed to eat truma, but they can't eat kodshim. To eat kodshim, they need to bring korbonos on the eighth day, and then they can eat kodshim. That's called mechusre kapara. They're lacking kapara. Now, by all the Mechusri Kapora, it says, Uvayom Ashmini. On the eighth day, they bring Korbonos. Now, if you're going to learn by Yom, Afilu B'Shabbos, so Hachanami the Dachu Shabbos. Maybe these Korbonos that the Mechusri Kapora have to bring would be Doich Shabbos. We know, however, that they're not Doich Shabbos. They're only a, only a Korban Sibur. Like the Ola Satomid every day is Doicha Shabbos. The, the Korban Musaf of Shabbos is Doicha Shabbos. If Yontif uh, Korbonois fall on Shabbos, then you bring those. Those are Tzibur Dike. But private Korbonois are never Doicha Shabbos. Not a Chates, not a Shlomim, not an Ashram, not any of these Korbonois that you have to bring from a Chusra Kapora. But if Rabbi Yochel is going to learn from Bayom, Afilu B'Shabbos, so it says Bayom by these Korbonois as well. And therefore, offering of these korbonos should be doich Shabbos. That's the Gemara's question. So the Gemara says, by there, they use up, they do something else with the bayom. Ahum aboilu bayom velo balayma, to teach me that these korbonos can only be offered in the daytime, not at nighttime. Onami meboilu bayom velo balayma. So by mila. How could you tell me by Yom Hashmini, Rabbi Yochanan tells me that it's Doich Shabbos. You need by Yom to tell me that meal is only kosher in the daytime, not at nighttime. The Gemara says, Ahumi ben Shmonas Yomim Nafke. There's another pasuk by Mila that says ben Shmonas Yomim. And it says Yomim. That's Yomim Velo Leila. Break the Gemara by the Mechusri Kapor Hanami there it says, by Korbonis Biyom, as May Israel Akridis Korbonihem. So there also is another Pasuk to teach me, Biyom Velo Balayla. So we're back to our question. Maybe the Korbonim Machusri Kapor could be offered on Shabbos, because it's Doichel Shabbos from, that, from the Pasuk of Bayom. And for the Gemara, Afa Gabda Nafka, Mibiyom Tzavoso, even though you could learn that out from Mibiyom Tzavoso, I need it. <laughs> to be repeated. Bayom velo balayla. Why? It's true. Because al kedai the chavim ayin thought hoil bechas rachmana alei lasui bedalus. One of the 
uh, special de- special attributes of these korbanos that are for, brought by the mechusrei kapara is that there's a sliding scale. If you're wealthy, you bring an animal. If you're le- less wealthy, you can bring a pair of birds. If you're even very poor, you could bring a mincha. So since the Torah had Rachmanis, maybe Balayla Nami lesson, maybe there's even a more leniency that they could offer it at night. Kamash Malon, that we have to reject it from Bayon Velo Balayla. Okay. Paski for Avino. Elameato. So since you're going to tell me that the Torah has this concept of being, having Rachmanus and making it more lenient for the Bechusra Kapara, maybe Elameyatu Yehi Zar Kosher Bahem. Now normally a non kohen is not allowed to process the Korbonois. He can't do the Avoda. But maybe by these Korbonois, a Zar would be Kosher. Or an Onein. Right? A kohen who lost a relative on the first day, right, even before the burial, and where he's parted from mitzvahs. So an onen also is posul avoda. But maybe an onen would be kosher b'avoda because chas rachmana alei, basur b'dalus. So hadre kro. No, because the Torah brings the that the, the Torah repeated itself and, and it said by Yom, Hashmini, it went back and it said, no, all the other dinim by Kochim apply. Okay, so right now, we have two approaches as to why Mila's doich Shabbos. We have the Hekish of Os, Bris, and Doros. And then we have Rav Yechidon who says, Bayom Hashmini, Bayom Afilu B'Shabbos. Rav Acha Bar Yaakov Omar, Omar Kroh Shmini, Shmini afilu b'shabbos. Not by yom afilu b'shabbos, but when it says you should do the meal on the eighth day, the eighth day, even if it falls on Shabbos. Frank the Gemara, shmini meboil in the mu'ut shvi. Well, I mean, I need shmini to know that I can't do the meal on the seventh day. So the Gemara says, you don't need that because shvi mi ben shmonas yomim nafka. Right? There's another posuk we said, mi ben shmonat yamim. So we don't need the Shvi because we have it there. So the Lord says, I still need it because I need another post to say you can't do it on the ninth day. Now, why would I think that? I mean, if I only would have had one by Yom Hashmini, I would have said, you know, I know why I can't do it on the seventh day because it, it's like, it's like, it's like, by a Corbin, you're also not allowed to shech the Corbin until the eighth day of its life. Prior to the eighth day, you can't do it. After the eighth day, there, there, there's no requirement to do it on the eighth day. You can do it on the ninth day, the tenth day, the eleventh day, the twelfth day. So the same thing. If I would have only had only by Yomash, one by Yomashmini, I would have said, Shvi Hudulomotis, because Shvi, I can't do it because we haven't reached the time where it's permitted. Ava Shmini Ve'elech I would have said maybe the ninth day is also Zmano, and the tenth day is also Zmano, and the eleventh day is also Zmano. And therefore, the halacha would be that if any of those days fell on Shabbos, it would be considered Zmina Mila B'Shabbos, and I, I could uh, be Doich Shabbos any day. So in a Chanami, it's the way Rav Yoichnon learns, that means by Yom Hashmini, limits it to the Yom Hashmini. Now, Tanya Kavose Rav Yoichno. There's a Braisot that seems to give us Rav Yoichno's approach. Udulok Rav Achabar Yaakov that it said Shmini Afil B'Shabbos. It says Shmini Yimol, says the Braisot, Afil B'Shabbos. Now, Umani Mekayim Mechalemos Yumas says, Whoever violates Shabbos will be put to death. That's Bishar Malachos Chutzma Mila. That's all other Malachos. 
that you do not mila. Oh, eno, alafilu mila. Maybe the Gemara says, maybe even by mila you'd be mechale amos yumos. And umani mekayim shmini yimol chutz mi Shabbos means when it says you should do the meal on this eighth day, yeah, that's except if it falls on Shabbos. Talmud Lomer Bayom, Afilu B'Shabbos. That's the Baraisa that supports Rav Yechman. Omer Rav, Haitan Ami Karam Maika Nichole, Ulvasov Maika Kashle. Rav wants to dissect the Havamina here. Why did the Gemara have a Havamina that maybe Mila is not part of it? And, and what was the problem? So what is this Hachi Kavar? Shmini Yimo Ala Filu B'Shabbos. The initial Havamina is do it on the eighth day, even if it's on Shabbos. However, what do I do with the Pasuk? That's if you carry, that is, that's if you light a fire, all other than Malachas. But Mila will be Doicha Shabbos. My time, why will it be Doicha Kavachoim here? So you have a din of a baharis, which has to be inspected. There's a lav, don't remove the baharis. It says, Ishomer benegat saras. Rashi, Azor bekoitzitz baros ha kosu medabir. Vichmira toy bazor azu, even litchoy savoida. For example, if a koyen, has the Baharis. And there's nobody else to do the Avod except him. There's Yisraelim in him. If he removes the Baharis, he won't be Tomei anymore. L'chura. Because the Gemara's Havamina is that you get rid of it. So he's not, so then he could, but the Torah, the Torah says no. Even if there's, even if we have to push aside the Avoda, he's not allowed to take off the Baharis. <laughs> They, that means if the majority of Klai Yisrael were Tomei Meis by Korban Pesach, you know what? Everyone does the Korban Pesach the Tumah. However, Lo Zovinu Mitzoroin. But if the majority of Klai Yisrael were Zovinu Mitzoroin, we don't. Ubetevin Lassus. But that year they don't do the Korban Pesach. Lo Amrinan Yikotsu Bahartan Viyochlu Pesach. We don't say let everybody cut off their Baharas and eat the Pesach. Oh, HaKohen Yikots Bahartu Viyavod. Or let the coin cut off his bears, let him do the avoda. Because and we have no option. So back to the kavachoyim. So we say we push aside the avoda in the face of tsaras. Yet avoda doiches a shabbos. Certain korbanos are doiches shabbos. We shech the korban on shabbos, the korban oila. Mila, Doche Osa. Mila will push aside Saras. That means if a child is born and has a Baharis on his foreskin, and there's normally a lav to cut it off, the mitzvah of Mila overrides the lav and you cut it off. So that Mila Doche Osa, Shabbos, Shinit Chesmit Neavoid. Shabbos, it's also pushed aside from Avoida. Eino din shete mila doicha so. Based on this Kabbalah Chaymer, mila should be doicha it. So that's how the logic goes to get that Tana to understand, oh no, no, Shabbos should be nidcha by mila. So umay o eino de kamer, but why did he have a moment of regret and say, oh, you know, maybe not. Maybe mila is not doicha. Because hoder omar, because he said to himself, umimai de tzras chamura, why do we say that Saras is more chamur? Maybe Dilma Shabbos chamur. Shekin yesh bo oin shin vazars harpe. There's a lot more oin shin vazars by Shabbos than there is by Saras. Or inami, we might mishum the chamir at Saras. See, another reason to break the logic here would say, maybe Saras is not that stringent. Why? It's not because, so for example, just if the coin takes off the baharis with a knife, he still would be Tomei. Why? You need hair of Shemesh. He needs to go to the mikvah. The reason we don't allow him is not because of the Baharis. It's because of the other processes he has to go through to retire himself. 
So, um, and therefore, mani makam shmini yimo chutz mishabbos tabel dover bayom afilu b'shabbos. Okay, that's the way Rava uh, goes through that analysis. Ton rabbanon mila doiches at saras. Right, if you have saras on the foreskin, you 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 doichet. Bain bizmana bain shalom bizman. Not only on the eighth day, but even on the ninth day or the tenth day. Yom Tov Aina Docha Ella Bizmana Bilvad. But doing Mila and Yontif has the same din of Shabbos. You only do Mila and Yontif if, if the Mila falls on the eighth day. If it's the ninth day, you don't do the Mila. And on a Mili, the Torah Bon says, Yimo Besar or Lasso, Avil Pishyeshan Baheres, Yakuz. Even though there was a Baheres on the foreskin, you can cut it off. And how are we umani makayim yishrami v'negat? How how are we makayim the lav of don't cut off the baharis? That's bishar mekomos chutz b'mila. On all other places of the body, that does not it's not the force. Oh, eno el afilu mila. Then he has a regret. Maybe, maybe no. Maybe you don't cut off the baharis even if it's on the force. And umani mekabi yimobs or lasso bisman shein baharis. When do you cut off the foreskin when there's no baharis there? But if there's a baharis, we don't cut it off. Talmud lomer besar yimob besar or lasso af al pi sheyesham baharis. Okay, so it's a gzeir sakos. Amar Rava again. Rava analyzes this statement, this brisa, to say high tanami koram anichalei lasso. Well. Why was he happy in the beginning in his limud and he was not happy at the end? Hachi koma. Yimo b'sor lasso, you shall do mila, avo b'shiyesh b'heres. But then how do I fulfill umani mekai mishar b'venek at saras? Mishar mekomos chutz b'mila, other places of the body. Aval, mila doiches at saras. But mila overrides saras. My taima, the Asumi Kabachoimer. Uma Shabbos Chamura. We have because Shabbos has all sorts of Azharas and Oinshin. Yet, Mila Doichoisa, we've already learned from Bayom Ashmini that Mila is Doicha Shabbos. So Tsaras, which is not as Chamur as Shabbos, Lo Kol Shakain. Okay. Umai Oeno Kamur. So then what, why did he back away from that? Because Hodder Kamur, this is what he said to himself. Mimai the Shabbos Chamim. Maybe Shabbos is not more stringent. In fact, why? Like we learned that you push aside the avoda and you don't allow people to cut off a bayaris. And, and avoda is doiches a Shabbos. Based on that logic, Tsaras is more chomer than Shabbos. That's why we have to resort to the pasuk because the logic broke down. So again, Rava, Rava did this... Uh, Analysis in both both cases. <laughs> However, Lishna Achrina. There's another version of this dialogue. Mila doiches at saras. That if a, if someone has a has, has saras on their foreskin, you still can cut it off, even though there's a lot to cut it off. My time. Uh, the osi ase the dochi los ase. Mitzvah smila is an ase. Yishomer beneged saras is a lot ase. In general, we have a rule. In ase is doicha lot ase. This, this whole sugya we're going to learn in Yavam is Mirz Hashem, Daf Gimel. It's like a two or three blot sugya. Very famous sugya in Shas about ase doicha los ase. But this just touches it. So uh, be, the reason why you can cut off a bayares is because nasay is doy chalosas. Umay o ene de ko'amar. So then why in the, in, when they were going through it, 
He said, oh, maybe it's not doicha. Because how did Kamar? Amir, that meaning does say, the Osi Asseva Dochas also say, when do we say that an, a positive commandment overrides a negative commandment? That's a lota say greater. That's a regular lota say. But hi, I say the lota say. Here it says he shamer, the negat saras. That's a lot. Lota say. But then it says velasos kachol asher yaru. I know I say. So cutting off at saras is is a, both a lav and it's not say. And and I say. Of Mila is not doich a combination of Asay Lota Say. And it would therefore mani bekayim imo psar loso that you shall do Mila to the foreskin. That's only bizman she'en ba beheres. Because an Asay will not come and be doich a combination of an Asay and a Lota Say. Tamad Lomar Besar, Afal Pishi Yesham beheres. Comes the Gzer Sarkosov to say, no, the Asay here is doich. Fine. The, the pasuk of Yimob Sar Loso is by an adult. And Kot Nami Ksiv Beib Sar. An eight day old child, it also says Bir Basar. But somewhere in between eight days and adulthood, which is a Benoni Minola, you have no riot there. That, that such Mila will be Doichat Saras. You learn it sort of a combination from the adult and the child. You can't learn directly from the godel because a godel can get kores. Only a, someone 13 and above is punished. An eight day old Mila, you can't learn from because that's Mila Bismana. What's the combination between the two? Atzara Shavash Ben. Shekeni Molin, the Doichinus at Saras. On those cases, because it says Besar, and we have a Pasuk, both by the adult and by the, the eight day old child, that it's Doich at Saras. Af Kosheni Molin, Doich at Saras. Therefore, anyone who undergoes Mila, even if you're a Benoni, between the age of eight days and 13 years, you would be Doich at Saras. Rava Omar, Mila Bismana Doichalot Srikha The fact that Mila on the eighth day is Doicha Shabbos, we don't need a Pasuk. Because we cover Chaimer Asya. That can be learned logically. Umar Shabbos to Chamira. Shabbos is very Chomer. Doicha. Oh, Mila Bismana is doiche tsaras, doesn't need a pasuk. Because my Shabbos to Chamiri and Mila's doiche it. So tsaras, which is less chomer than Shabbos, lo koshikain, certainly it should be doiche it. So again, which we responded to that same kavachomer before, Armele Rav Sarfil Rav Mimadi Shabbos Chamira. You can't take it as a given that Shabbos is more chomer. Dilma tsaras Chamira. We said, shikain doiche savoida. Any, sorry to bother you. Yes. Um, the Saras, Saras is on the same level as 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 Mila, or Mila is a higher level, obviously. No, there's a lav that you're not allowed to cut off a baharis. Right. You got to keep it so the coin can check it, and you can't get rid of it. If you cut it off, it's a lav. Then there's a mitzvah sasei to cut off the foreskin. Let's say you had a baharis on your foreskin. So you have, a, you have a conflict between an assay of cutting it off and the lav, where you're not allowed to cut off a baharis. So, so we learned that the mitzvah of hila is doicha the lav of cutting off the baharis. In other words, you can cut off the baharis when you do the mila. Yeah, let, we're talking about a case where the baharis is on the foreskin. So when I you know. cut off the foreskin, the baharis is coming off. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that, we needed a, and we've been trying to prove that we're allowed to do that. So the Gemara proved it from Psukim, for both an adult, because Yemol Psar Lasso, and the Ben Shmona Yami. And then from between nine days old and 13, there's no Pasuk. So we learned it out from Atzad Shava from the adult and the, and, the, and the eight-day-old child. That's how the Gemara ended up. And then Rava wanted to say 
that the fact that Mila on the eighth day uh, is doichet saras, we don't need a pasuk for that because we can learn that from a kol v'choymer. Ma doch Shabbos is more chomer, yet you can do Mila on it. So certainly you could do Mila on a tsaras. But on that, Amr le Rav Sarfa le Rav, we might do Shabbos chamir, dimo tsaras chamira. Maybe tsaras is more chomer than Shabbos. So your kavah chomer is uh, upside down. Why is tsaras more chomer than Shabbos? She came doichas avoida. So we already said that if you have a koyen that has a baheres, he's not allowed to cut off the baheres so he can do the avoida. We let the avoida be misbatel. So basically, tsaras is being doichas the avoida, yet avoida is doichas or Shabbos. Yet, there are korbonos that we do on Shabbos that the avoid is doichet. Based on that kavachomer, tzaras is more chomer than Shabbos. So the Gemara says, nah, awesome, la mishum de chamir tzaras. Ela mishum de gavru hu de like we said before. The koyen who cuts off the bayaris still couldn't go and do the avoid because he needs hair of shemesh and tvila. Pray to Gemara amai. What do you mean? V'yakot spahar to v'yavod. Let him cut off his bayaris and do the avoida. Oh, says the Gemara, Machusr Tvilu. He needs mikvah. So it, it's not that the, all you got to do is cut off the bayaris. You need another act. And that ruins the whole limud. So Tinich Negoim Tmeim, fine. But Negoim Tohoirim, there are certain bayarises that don't make him Tome. Kigon Boha. If somebody has a bohak, uh, which is spread over his whole body, and those are also you can't cut off, and they don't make you tome. So the goyim to hoy Michael and Mema, then you don't have this limud of that tsaras is more chomer because there's no dechia. On Ravashi, Ravashi, by the way, so this was a very schwer problem that the Gemara ended up with this Negoim Tahorim business until Ravashi came along at the, when he redacted the Talmud. Hey, hey, When do we say simply that like Walter said, when there's a Baharis on the force, can you cut it off? Why? Because where the action happens simultaneously. You cut off, you do one act, with that one act, you do both things. You do the Mila and you cut off the Bayeras. Or, Tzitzis Fikilayim. For example, if you have a wool garment or you have a linen garment, you can hang wool Tzitzis. I, it's Shatnes. So, so there, the Asay of Tzitzis is Doicha, the Los Asay of Shatnes. But it happens simultaneously. At the exact moment that you violate the law, you've performed the assay, right? You, with the moment you cut off the foreskin is when you cut off the bayar. It all happens at the same time. Hocha, but here, be'idna de mitzakir lelav loka mukim assay, right? When you when you cut off the baharis by the koyen, so it didn't machshir him to the avod. He needed another step. The moment he cut off the bayaris didn't didn't solve the problem for him. He didn't makayim any mitzvah. And in that situation, it's not doicha the lo sase. Okay. So it's a nice introduction to this concept of ase doicha lo sase. We'll continue it. So again, tomorrow we're going to be learning about 9.15 because Tzvika